Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I want to go ahead and get started with today's video. I've got an awesome story for you guys. So a little bit of story time to start off today. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys are all doing good. So we're going to start off today by just mining wood all this part, right? I've got a story for you. So... Yesterday, I, uh, I I went grocery shopping, right? And it never occurred to me that when you go grocery shopping, <laughs> you know, when I when I say grocery shopping, I, I essentially mean like you you go there, you get your food, you leave, you know, do what you got to do, leave. It never occurred to me that this was uh, like a normal trip to people. So what I mean by that is like. Yesterday, I had this very weird encounter um, at the grocery store, and it reminded me of a time that it happened something similar. So I'm going to tell you a story about that. There was a young guy one time. His name was Ijevin. <laughs> and he went to the grocery store. So here in Dayton, we have grocery stores, but they're called Kroger's. And Kroger's is, like, essentially nationally known. <laughs> and... Um, you know, like, I never, it never occurred to me that the, this was, like, not a normal story. You know, like, I always thought that this has happened to everybody. And then yesterday in the stream, people were telling me that, like, that was pretty weird. <laughs> so, um, you know, this time, uh, I'm actually telling you a story from a long time ago rather than yesterday. Because you guys probably already heard yesterday's story. So, with that being said, uh, I go to the grocery store. Now, I like to go grocery shopping you know, either early in the morning, like really early, like 7 or 8 a.m., um, <clears throat> or like 4 in the morning. Now, I pick those times for a couple reasons, one of them being that there is nobody there. I like to peruse the items, you know, what looks delicious to me. I like to read. I like to make my decisions wisely, you know. I, I don't want to rush, rush what's going into my deliciousness, so... You know, food. Uh, when it comes to, you know, making decisions, I like to take my time. <coughs> so, I decided to go, go grocery shopping yesterday. And with that being said, you know, people are a little crazy around Dayton right now. Um, it is, uh, it's uh, like winter here, obviously. And we had a snowstorm, so people are like there. There wasn't very many people there, you know. But uh, enough to make me, like, question why I came. <laughs> so, um, I get there and I, you know, I'm doing my shopping. Everything's going good. It's like 7 in the morning. And so, uh, if you know anything about Kroger's, you know that they have self-checkouts. And what a self-checkout is, is uh, you can walk up, uh, put in your little Kroger card number, and you can essentially check out and pay and not have to worry about going to a cashier. So with that being said, that is my favorite because the whole cashier like interaction thing is kind of weird. You're like, hey, they're like, hey, you know, and it's, it's just strange. So uh, self checkout for the win. So my Kroger's ha is relatively small because it's still pretty old. Uh, it hasn't like updated to the new Kroger system yet, <laughs> and so I'm I go up to the self checkout. And I'm checking out, and, you know, I'm, I'm swiping items. And then I glance over, and I notice there's a lady standing next to me. And, like, and when I say standing next to me, I don't mean, like, you know, a couple, like, cart length away. I mean, like, like if I were to lean over, I could kiss her cheek. <laughs> so she's very close in my personal space. And... <laughs> So, you know, my natural reaction, because I'm a smart aleck, you know, like, my natural reaction is, hi, can I help you? And she kind of gives me this, like, random, like, did you just say that to me, look? <laughs> so, um, I'm like, can I help you? And she's like, no. She, she just stands there. And I think she was, like, waiting for me to finish. So, I'm scanning my items. She's still standing there. It's creepy, obviously. And everybody's kind of looking at her like she is insane because she, you know, she must be. 
So, you know, knowing me, I'm the worst person in the world to make mad. I'm a very vengeful person. So I take my absolute slowest time. So I'm scanning, and I'm just like, beep. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, going slow, going slow. So eventually, it comes to where I have to move. Uh, and so, like, I, I scoot over to start bagging my items. Naturally, as soon as I scoot over, she moves. She moves in for the kill of my register. I'm not even done checking out yet. And so this is a weird transaction. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm checking out. I'm like, mm, I'm not even done. She's like... And she did she didn't like she didn't know what to say, you know? And so yesterday's transaction kind of reminded me of when this happened. And I thought that this was like totally normal. <laughs> Cause you know, it's just like I'm from Dayton, so I kind of expect it, I guess. But um so she's like she's like she's like getting mad at me because I'm not finished checking out. Even though I was there first, and I only had like six items, but so it, it's getting weirder and weirder. And so the manager comes over. And she's like, is there a problem? And I'm like, yeah, I'm checking out. And this lady just like creeps up on me. Like those exact words. She starts laughing. She's like, ma'am, is there a problem? She's like, no, I'm just checking out. Like, like I was completely invisible. Like she clearly saw me there. Like, and now at this point, I'm starting to get frustrated. Because, you know, I, I go to the store to avoid this stuff. So I pick random times. But apparently the crazy people go to Kroger's at like like 4 in the morning with me just to prove me wrong or something. So, so like, I pay for my stuff, you know, after she moves out of the way so I can, like, get my the rest of my stuff out of my cart. <laughs> and, like, she's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And, you know, I'm going slower and slower because I just want to, you know, I want to piss her off at this point. So, she's like, she, she like grumbles. And I'm like, she did not just grumble at me. You know, like, what in the world is going on? I'm thinking to myself. So, naturally in my head, I'm trying not to like tombstone her, you know, from like, you know, WWE, like The Undertaker. <laughs> I'm trying not to like suplex this lady and all the while everybody's watching and like it's so awkward so <laughs> like the security guard comes over and it's like ma'am is there a problem she's like no and I'm sitting here bagging my items I probably ba oh don't suck on the ground I probably bagged every one of my items like four times <laughs> because you know I didn't I didn't want to, like, give her the opportunity to use my thing. So, he's like, you need to give this gentleman some room. He's trying to check out. So, naturally, me being the good guy that I am, I'm like, oh, I forgot something. <laughs> so, I just reach up and grab a bag of chips and I start to scan and she freaks. Like, freaks out, like. Like, you were finished, and I was like, ma'am, you creeped up on me like a weirdo. And I, she's like, did you call me a weirdo? Now, note, this lady is mid-40s black lady with a big fancy hat. I don't understand. I, I'm not going to judge. I'm not here to be racist. <laughs> but it was weird because, like, she was, like, standing there expecting, like, like that's her register. You know, like. If I were not, if I were like, I need to like guard her register or so it was weird. Like, I can't explain it. It was just, it was, it like threw my mind, man. So I'm checking out this bag of chips. I'm taking my sweet old time and she just starts cussing and the security guard's still standing there and he saw it and he starts giggling like, cause he saw me grab the bag of chips. So... <laughs> She gets escorted out of the place by the security guard because of her language. I got my bag of chips. She never checked out, and it was just an all-around awkward experience. I gotta be honest with you. So, that lead, that got me thinking, you know. Um, when you're in public, you know, do you guys, like, you have any weird experiences, but you think they're normal? 
because like that was a pretty awkward experience for me you know i'm a, I'm a pretty social person you know to do youtube you, you've got to be able to talk to people now with that being said that lady was straight up weird <laughs> like there's no other way to explain it and it just reminds me of like all these other times that i've had like weird experiences out in public now this this kroger's is not like the safest kroger's in the world it's in the ghetto you could say it's in the ghetto but it's like super close to my house um that's what's weird about dayton dayton is like is like ghetto but at the same time it's not ghetto if that makes any sense you know like our city boundaries so like say this is like uh cities this could be like don't go there at nighttime. this could be meh and then this could be rich it's like that close so like two streets could make a difference so like where i live it's nice but where that kroger's is located really close to my house is not nice and so i'm suspecting she lives over there somewhere because she was crazy and like dude but yeah that that kroger's there's there's like four rules to that kroger's there's like things you don't do there one, you don't go there during welfare. If you don't know what welfare is, if you live out of the United States, our great country of ours, the great country of the United States, we pay people to be lazy. <laughs> Essentially, they get money because they can't find a job. So the government gives them money. So the government gives them money based on how many kids they have. So naturally, the ghetto folks around my neighborhood decide to have like 19 kids and they grow to, they go to Kroger's on the first of the month. Oh my God. I have never seen like cart trains so long before. And what I mean by that is like, there's like a mom pushing one cart and then there's like a kid pushing another one and then they're like attached. And then there's like six more of them. And like... I, you know, I like to cook, you know, I'm not, I'm okay with fast food sometimes, but I'm, I like to cook. Even if it's like simple stuff, you know, like hot dogs, chili dogs, whatever. For some reason, on the first of the month, the hot dog chili is always sold out. I'm not sure what's going down in the hood, but for hot dog chili to be sold out is crazy. So that was my interesting story at that Kroger's. And you know what? That's like not even the weirdest thing that's happened there. There has been some very awkward encounters, like, like that, the same day I went there during the welfare time, like, some lady was so mad that she was, like, yelling at every customer. She wasn't even, I don't even think she worked there, but she was just yelling at everybody. Like, she was like, I want this, and I want this, and it was, uh, it was interesting. But, like, uh, you know, like, this Kroger's is, like, so bad that they have, like, a security guard staff. So, um, like, I probably shouldn't go there because, like, I'm probably risking my life in some way. But at the same time, it's just so fun to go there because you never know what's going to happen. Like, it, it doesn't, the Kroger's doesn't really, like, get robbed or anything. So it's not, like, life-threatening. But, like, the socially awkward people that go there make the trip worthwhile. So, um, yeah, if you have any, like, crazy stories like that feel free to let me know i love reading those kind of stories because like people are just insane like like this lady thought like legit thought that i was at her register even though i was there first and when i got to the register there was like nothing in the register so crazy lady um so i've got a bunch of these stories so i'm probably gonna start telling you more of them <laughs> uh anyways guys so we got a bunch of wood uh we cleared this out pretty good here actually so that's my crazy Kroger story. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, guys. So we are going to start working on this guy. I, I I can't do that little that little bendy bend. No. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me, man. So I've been thinking about what I want to do. And we have a couple options. I think I'm going to do an underground tunnel right here. Or like a terminal like where they, the the carts stop so i'm just gonna give myself a little bit of room here actually let's go four the problem is we are not very <coughs> oh 
we are not very high or below, far below the ground. So we need to be careful with whatever we do. So the trains will come in, and I think what we're going to have them do is stop. And so this is going to be more of like a junction box. I'm not sure what else I'm going to be able to put down here. I'm thinking about putting like a ton of carts down here, if that makes any sense. Put that there. But yeah, I'm thinking about <coughs> putting like... Because if you've ever seen like a train station before, like the train comes in, you know, and it's doing its thing. And it's going to stop. It's probably going to stop somewhere along the line right there. And there'll be a platform up here, and possibly. I don't know if I want to put a platform up there or not. How much room do we have? Okay, we're, you know what? We're not that far off. We could probably put a platform up there. It only needs to be four high. That could work. Ooh. So maybe we'll have, like, like a hidden platform down here that leads to... You know, something secretly awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. But uh, yeah, so I did a quick Google search before I started building this, and train junctions are a mess. <laughs> they have tracks everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's organized chaos because, like, the train system in the United States is, like, outstanding. Those dudes move so much cargo in a year. Like, I was watching a TV show. <laughs> now, this TV show was, like, going... <coughs> excuse me. It was, like, going in depth about, like, the train situation in the United States. And these dudes don't stay at, like, a, like a, a stop-off for like more than 20 minutes when they're driving their locomotives, so. There we go, that's probably good enough. Um, that just gives us kind of like an idea of what we can do in the future. There we go. And so, like I said, you know, we're gonna leave this area, but the reason I'm making this is because we need to add another pathway over to the area where our quarry is right now because we're going to be there mining for quite a long time. So, with that being said, we will put a stopper there. Now, there is... Maybe. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Um... Okay, so it's on that side. I was looking to see what side the rails went on. Because I want to try to keep everything the same. So if we turn here, go that way, then go that way. Uh, that'll work, actually. I like that. that. That will definitely work. So, what I was saying is that the junctions in the train station are nuts. They've got, like... <laughs> it's, like, it's hard to do with these, because, like, the tracks... But, like, dude, there's, like, rails everywhere. So, um, rather than just, like, make this look like a small junction, what should we put right here? I don't know, man. <coughs> Part of me wishes, like, we had, like, like something we could, like, maybe put some flowing lava here. Make, make this, like, a steel station or something. I don't really know. Also, what are we going to put up here? This could be, like the workers union or something man but yeah i like this little junction we have here we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this though so platform to get on the train we'll have a selector panel probably right here it'll just be a push button that um flips that redstone over to change the track which won't be too hard to do because it's just like one little wire but we need to figure out something to do with this area and this area now, if I need to get rid of this area, that's fine, because we can just stop here and then bring the wall closer and put a redstone selector there. Like, where would you like to go today? <coughs> Excuse me. So, like, right here. <coughs> uh, I don't think I like that. I think I want to keep it open like that. I'm just not sure what I want to put there just yet. Okay, guys, so I think that's going to do it for today's video. We got a lot done. I want... I want your guys' opinion on this space. Now, what I'm thinking for this is, like, I don't know, man. 
I, 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 uh, like, I'm thinking about maybe putting, like, these here, like this, and then putting another one there, and putting carts here, and, like, having a cart storage station. That could be pretty sick. I don't have any iron with me. Let's go grab some real fast, actually. Uh, we'll do that before I end the video. Uh, I want to try that out real fast. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, man, if you guys have any crazy stories, let me know, because, like, I love hearing them. They're so much fun. Plus crazy people. So, crazy people are always awesome. You never know what you're going to get. There we go. All right, let's make some carts. By the way, guys, um, super flat. <coughs> I am in the process of building that pack. Uh, so it will be back soon. Uh, don't worry about that. As far as Hermitcraft goes, Hermitcraft is going to come back, but it's probably only going to be like maybe once a week. It's just hard to play vanilla so much, you know? Like modded is what I enjoy first off, but I don't know. So let's see here. I'm thinking something like this you because this is where we could store the trains I guess we really don't even need the stoppers do we I'm not sure how to go about this because like the track will move maybe something like that and just have a bunch of carts stored here or something I don't know let me know what you guys think. Is there water running down there? There is definitely water down here. What in the world is going on? Right. Okay then. <laughs> Something's going on in the subway. I'm getting out of here. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Remember, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. 500 likes will get you a world download for next episode. And if you like the series in general, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is iJevin. Peace out.